Hey there, it's Melissa with melissaesmond.com here to share with you a little bit about Slice products. They've sent me a few few things from their line and I've been incredibly impressed. I'd love to walk you through these offerings and why they are so great for even young crafters. So first of all, look at this blade. Let's focus in on that. This blade, it's not cutting my finger. This blade is awesome. It's really great. So let's cut some paper with this. This is this is a scrapbooking, uh, super heavy cardstock from my mind's eye. It's got a really awesome thickness to it. Um, so I don't know if I would actually be using this for hand cut work, but you can see that it works really well with even thick papers. So if you're doing a thinner paper, like an 80 pound stock instead of 110 pound stock, it's just gonna go through it like butter. It's great. Um, this is a one ounce book binding leather, and so it's it's pretty thin. It's not super thick, and it does just fine as you can see right here. I have to press a little bit harder. You can see like my hands kind of, my knuckles are turning a little white, but it does just fine. Oh, I missed that. There we go. See, came out. This is a great tool. The holder feels really nice. It's got a good weight. It's got this nice uh, metallic grip on it. And then it's got this sort of carbon body here. And the lid sticks so firmly on the backside, you don't have to worry about losing it. So again, I'm a huge fan. It's just a really great product and it's safe for you to use and not slice up your hand. So anyway, I hope you enjoy these products. Check out the links in the comments if you wanna purchase. It cuts in just a second, but then you have these scissors. These are ceramic scissors. They, um, you can take them on an airplane because they're a blunt tip and the scissors are shorter than four inches here. Uh, they are ambidextrous, so you can be a lefty and cut well with these too. Um, I love these because I, my kids are always stealing my scissors and I don't want them getting stabbed by my evil death scissors. I want them to use these. They're great, they're super sharp, and they're safe for my kids. They're, they're comfortable too. This rubberized interior is really nice on the fingers and it just, I mean, you can hear that. They just even sound sharp. So let's walk through and see what we can cut with these guys. Here I've got a range of different materials. I've got a thick letterpress paper. I've got ribbon, metal, and this is a thin sheet metal. Leather, and this is a one ounce leather. It's a very thin uh, book binding weight leather. And then knit fabric, because knit fabric is among the hardest fabric to cut simply because it's so flexible. You know, the, the small blades make it a little harder to do those round corners, but overall, this cuts through the letterpress paper pretty seamlessly. It's great. This is totally fine. Cuts through it pretty well. It's cutting through this metal like it's no big deal, which is awesome. Now leather, I struggled with it because leather has some similar qualities to skin. It's just basically dried out skin. So this, these, the scissors struggle more with leather than they do with anything else. So I have to take short, shorter bites out of the leather um, than if I were using my gingers or you know leather cutting specific scissors. And then it cut through just fine with the uh, knit fabric. Um, overall, one, it's safe. It's safe for your kids to use. Two, it's ambidextrous. And three, it cuts through paper really well. So I would personally recommend this to any young paper crafter. Hands down, it's awesome. So I hope you give these a try. They're fantastic. See the link in the comments uh, on where to purchase these.